Hey guys, so here's something interesting that I thought I'd share with you this morning. So um, one of the things they tell you to do with babies and you know with kids in general is, uh, especially little ones, is that you should read and speak to them all the time. It gets them to understand language. And I was thinking how much of a blessing it is that I read to you in first grade and Mackenzie is sitting usually right here next to me with Mr. Smith and she's listening to all these stories too. And it's just a real blessing because she's learning right along with you. All right, so we're going to start out with one of my favorite Brothers Grimm fairy tales, the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, there was a foolish farmer who had a beautiful, clever daughter. One day the farmer went to the palace and started to show off. He said to the king, I have a beautiful daughter. But the king took no notice. So the farmer said, and she's clever. She can spin straw into gold. Now the king loved gold. Oh, he said, I'd like to see your daughter. So the farmer hurried home and told his daughter that the king wanted to see her. But when the girl got to the palace, the king took her to a room where there was a pile of straw and a spinning wheel. Spin this straw into gold, he said, and off he went. The girl didn't know what to do and she began to cry. Then a strange little man jumped in through the window. Beautiful girl, he said, why are you crying? I must spin this straw into gold, she answered, and I don't know how to do it. What will you give me, said the little man, if I do it for you? My necklace, she said, and she gave it to him. The little man sat down, and the spinning wheel whirled round and round, and the straw was spun into gold. Then, with a skip and a jump, he was gone. When the king saw the gold, he was pleased, but he wanted more. So he took the girl to a room where there was an even bigger pile of straw. Spin this straw into gold, he said, and off he went. Again the girl began to cry, and then the strange little man jumped in through the window. More straw, he said. What will you give me if I spin it for you? My ring, she said, and she gave it to him. Again the spinning wheel whirled round and round, and the straw was spun into gold. Then with a skip and a jump, he was gone. When the king saw the gold, he was very pleased, but he wanted even more. So he took the girl to a room where there was an even bigger pile of straw. It reached right to the ceiling. Spin this straw into gold, he said. And off he went. Again, the girl began to cry. And then the strange little man jumped in through the window. Even more straw, he said. What will you give me if I spin it for you? I have nothing left, said the girl sadly. Then a promise, he said. When you are queen, you will give me your first little baby. Oh, she said. All right, I promise. Once again, the spinning whirl whirled round and round, and the straw was spun into gold. Then, with a skip and a jump, the little man was gone. When the king saw the gold, he was very, very pleased. He thought, this girl is clever and beautiful, so he asked her to marry him, and the farmer's daughter became the queen. A year passed by, and the queen had a baby. She had forgotten her promise to the little man. But the little man had not forgotten, and one day he jumped in through the window. Now you must give me your baby, he said. Oh no, she said, I'll give you jewels, a castle, anything, but not my baby. The baby is what I want, he said. The queen began to cry, and the little man felt sorry for her, and he said, if you can guess my name, you can keep your baby. I will give you three days and three guesses each day. As soon as the little man had gone, the queen sent servants all over the land to collect lots of different names. When the little man came back the next day, she said, Is your name Caspar or Jehoshaphat or Balthazar? But to each one he said, No, that's not my name. On the second day, the queen said, Is your name Skinny Legs, Rumbly Tummy, or Beaky Nose? But to each one, the little man said, No, that's not my name. 
One, on the morning of the third day, the queen was worried. She only had three guesses left. Then one of the servants told her that he had seen a strange little man skipping around a fire in the forest. He was singing this song. Around and around I dance and I sing, and nobody knows I'm Rumpelstiltskin. The queen clapped, clapped her hands. That's his name, she cried, Rumpelstiltskin. When the little man came for the last time, the queen said, I wonder, is your name John? No, he laughed, that's not my name. I wonder, uh, could it be Tom? No, no, he laughed, that's not my name. Well, said the queen, is it Rumpelstiltskin? Who told you, he shouted, who, who? He was so angry that he stamped a hole in the floor and whooshed through it, and he was never seen again. Then the queen picked up her baby and gave her a lovely baby, and gave she gave her lovely baby a great big happy hug. The end. Moral of the story, don't trust little men that jump through the window. Okay, um, so I hope you've enjoyed, and there will be more fairy tales coming later on in the week. See you soon.